guys, it's me, Alicia Marie, and if you watched my video last week, you'll know that I am going to Israel this week. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm really excited because, like, it's my first time out of country, and it's my first time on a plane ride longer than three to four hours, so a lot of firsts. As I was packing, I realized that the one thing that I can never figure out exactly how to pack is the bag I actually take on the plane with me, the carry-on backpack. And I'm like, I either take way too many things, and then I'm just like, ah, way too many things, I can't decide what to do with this stuff. Or, I don't take enough things, and then I'm just like, I'm so bored, I did not bring anything. And I really didn't want that to happen this time, because it's a very long flight. So, I did a little research and stuff on Pinterest and YouTube and this is what I came up with and I want to show you guys what I put in my bag because who knows maybe it'll help you maybe you're going on a trip and you were thinking the exact same thing and if it doesn't help then I'm just a weirdo in my room talking to my camera showing it to my things in my bag not weird at all this is my backpack got it from Target. I like it. It's got a lot of pockets and it's also big enough for my laptop, which is very important to me because my laptop is coming with me and I don't want to put it in my check-in bag or even in my rolly carry-on bag because sometimes they have to put that underneath and I wouldn't want that to happen. So in the front pocket is my um, liquid bag. You have to put them in a quart size bag and I will tell you I had a very hard time getting everything to fit in this very very hard time it was almost impossible but i got it to fit i'm not going to take everything out because it took it me forever to get it to fit but pretty much i just have the paris more from bath and body works um to spritz myself you know, um, i have two containers those are for hand lotion and face lotion so that i can keep myself nice and healthy my skin nice and moisturized while i'm on the plane I have my cream eyeshadow, which is coming with me. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, the red perfume travel size in there. Um, I've always wanted to try it, but it's really expensive. So when I found this small one for like five bucks, I was like, yes, I have to get that. I got it. And then I have a BB cream because it's a moisturizer and also it perfects skin. And it's also a sunscreen. And this one's the one by Ramel London. I am in the color light. I am in the lightest color they have. I'm pale like that. And then I have a body cology, body cology, I hope I said that right, hand sanitizer in Sweet Petals, which is a mixture of sweet pea with a mingle of berries. Yeah. Two mascaras, which I'm not really going to put those on on the plane. I just have it in here because I don't trust it in my other bags. Same with the eyeliner. I have an eyeliner, liquid eyeliner pen in there. Just don't really want it in the other bags, you know? I don't want it damaged. I spent money on it. Don't want to lose it. And then, of course, I don't even know if this is counted as a liquid, so I don't even know if it needs to be in here. But my L'Oreal Paris True Match um, concealer stick. I don't know if it's supposed to be in there. It's a crayon. Who knows? But it is very necessary on the plane. I was going to just put it in my thing because, you know, concealer is concealer, but no. We all know, when you get off a plane, especially a 10 hour one, you look like death. And that's not fun, or attractive. And I don't want to look like that when I get off the plane, so that's what I put in there. So, everything but like a few things I'll actually use on the plane, but whatever. Now for that pocket. Um, I have, oh, hair things. I have hair ties. And hair pins in a tic tac container yes i did buy the tic tacs just for the container yeah because i'm cool like that <laughs> and then i got i have these backup headphones because i'm actually earbuds really bother my ears so i don't really use these as my main source um so these are just backups and they're being held together by a hair clip so they don't get all tangled and also the hair clip is coming with me you never know if you need to put your hair up in the plane, because sometimes it just gets in the way. And then I have an extra little baggie of things that don't need to be in a baggie, but it's in a baggie, so it doesn't start wandering around in my bag, because, like, I hate reaching into my bag and, like, digging and looking for things. So, I put it in a bag. So me. I have a 
the Maybelline Fit Me uh, translucent powder in case I get oily, which is rare. Because typically in a plane, your skin dries up like a river and it cracks. I also brought a small eyeshadow palette because I don't want to bring my whole e.l.f. palette because I don't want it to break. I spent money, a lot of money on that one. This one's cheaper and it's got a few colors that I really like to use. And then I have lip balm galore. I got an EOS lip balm, a baby lips, a soft lips. I'm going to keep these lips moisturized. And then I have a balm stain from Revlon in the precious color. It's just a nude. Just in case I want to wear it. I don't know. Put that on before I get off the plane. You never know. Or this pocket. In this pocket, I like to call my freshen up pocket because after a 10 hour flight, I am going to need to freshen up because I'm going to look horrible and probably smell horrible too. Uh, but I'm bringing these Colgate Wisps. They're like little toothbrushes with picks, and there's like a little dab of toothpaste on them. These are really, really handy because you can swallow the toothpaste and it won't kill you. Very helpful tip because <laughs> you don't want to die. Um, yeah, these are really nice and I brought one for each flight because I have two flights before I get to the coast and then the one over the ocean and then I have one extra for backup. And I have some more in my check-in for on the flight back. So those I think are going to be my friends. And then I have an Altoid Smalls, because who doesn't like Altoids and Vince, and yeah. And it's so cute, it's so little. And then I have one of these. It's a flip open, oh my gosh, I probably totally just glared light in your face, I'm sorry. But it's a little brush, and it pops out, and then pops in, and I don't know, it's helpful. It's fresh hair. Um, and then in the big area, um, let me see if I can open this, there we go, um, I have a jacket, a sweat jacket from American Eagle, um, I don't want to wear this to the airport because of the fact that it's one more thing I have to take off to get through security, so I'm putting it in my bag until I get through, um, so that I don't have to take it off. It's really cold on planes and in airports and in restaurants and anywhere indoors, period. I just get cold easily, so that's a necessity for me. And then I have, well, my camera case, because I'm using my camera. But in here, I have an extra battery and also my memory chip USB converter thingy so I can get pictures and stuff onto my laptop. And then I have a book. This book is what I'm going to be reading. It's The Bridesmaid by Beverly Lewis. She is honestly one of my favorite writers. I haven't read this one yet. I also have another one that I'm putting in my check-in because, like, I guarantee you this will be done by the time I get off the flight. Um, so yeah. If you guys want me to do a, a book review on this, I think that would be really cool. It'd be really different to do a book review on YouTube. But yeah, I'd love to do it. So if you're interested, just let me know in the comment bar below. And then of course I have my bookmark, which is The Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. Team Pita. Yeah, my, uh, my friend Mariah, she made that one for me. She's awesome. So I am bringing my Betty and Veronica comics. I have two double digests and then one that's just, I guess, one digest. Um, I read all these before, but it's been a while, so I want to read them again. They're the only comic book I'll really read. Not really a comic book person, but I love those. I always have, and the Archie ones, but I don't have any of those. My brother does, though. Maybe I'll borrow some of his. And then my iPod. You can't go anywhere without your iPod. You gotta listen to music. It's a rule for me. I love music. And I also have games on there, like um, Diner Dash and Angry Birds and My Little Dentist. Those types of things. And then, of course, because we're going to go to the Mediterranean and it's really sunny, I have my sunglasses. And I got these from Shields, I think. They're really nice. I like them. And this was from Walmart. I really like the case, so. 
these are the other headphones I'm taking. Um, unfortunately, my sound um, blocking ones were chewed up by a certain puppy in our household, and so those I won't, I can't bring because they're broken. But I have these. They're like ten dollar drugstore ones, and I like them. They don't hurt my ears. They just that's the wrong way. Wow. I think they're really cute, and I like that they're blue. I mean. Nothing against black headphones, but those are just a little boring for me. I prefer color. Patterns would even be even better, but what you gonna do? I will also be bringing my phone, even though I won't be able to use it. Um, but what I like about the iPhone is that it also works as an iPod, just in case my iPod dies. And also, my iPod doesn't have a camera. This does. This is actually what I've used to film both of the videos I already have on this channel, so I think the camera's pretty good, so like when I'm vlogging and stuff, this is what I like to have carrying around, because it's right in my pocket, because like, this camera's huge, it's an easy share, Kodak, whatever, so it's kind of big to carry around in your pocket, if you know what I mean, so yeah, I'll be having this on me, and then like my dad let me is gonna let me use his smaller camera, um, for vlogging and stuff, so, yeah, pretty cool. I don't have these things in there, but I will be getting them. I'm going to put a notebook, pencils, pens, and highlighters in there for drawing, writing. You never know what you're going to end up doing. I also have my laptop, but I'm not packing it yet because I'm not leaving till Wednesday. It's Monday, and I'm going to need my laptop between now and then, so yeah, I'm not packing that yet. But it will go. Promise. I'm going to get a magazine from Target, um, probably Seventeen Magazine, unless I find something better to read on the way. I like to read, so i got to get a lot of reading material. I might even get some Mad Libs or um, Crossword Puzzles or even um, the ones where you fill it in. It's like, I can't even, I can't even think of what it's called. Whatever. But those kinds of puzzles and stuff like that. I will be vlogging while I am in Israel. I'm hoping to get a video up at least once a week. I don't know what my internet is going to be like over there. I don't know how often I'm going to have internet. I mean, I'm going to be over there. and I don't want to be on a computer the whole time. Might as well be home, right? So, yeah. I'm hoping maybe once or twice a week. Maybe three. Depends on the week. So, yeah, if you want to see those and you want to come with me on my journey to Israel, just click the subscribe button and you can follow me around. And, and I hope this helped. And if not, then, like I said, I was just in my room showing things to my camera like a weirdo. But that is perfectly fine. I am not a professional at traveling by all means. I mean, like I said, I haven't um, perfected the packing of the carry-on until now. And I don't even know if I've perfected it yet. Watch, I'll get on the plane and I'll be like, what did I forget? So, I mean, I'm not a professional, so it's not like... I've been a professional, listen to my words. So yeah, I hoped it helped. If not, eh, whatever. It was worth a shot. So, stay positive and have a wonderful day. Bye!